Welcome back to Java for Beginners. Next, we will move on to the programming concepts. This includes data types, variables, making decisions, and creating loops. In this lesson, we will focus on variables, data types, and expressions. Uh, I hope that you have already reviewed tutorials 1 to 3, install Java, and are able to compile and run Java applications. Let's start with a comment. A comment is the simplest type of Java statement. Because Java compiler ignores these statements, they can consist of anything you want. You can insert a comment to remind yourself why you did something or to clarify some tricky code that you wrote. Often, code that makes perfect sense today will mystify you tomorrow. So use comments to explain what you are thinking about while you are writing the code. In Java, the code can be commented three different ways. First, the C++ style comment. You start with two slashes and then the rest of the line is available for you to write a comment. The second one is the C, star, the C style comment. Here you can have comments spanning multiple lines. You start with a slash and an asterisk and you close it with the matching characters. Java introduced a third kind of comment called a documenting comment. This is like a C style comment except that this type of comment can also be read by a tool called javadoc which can take your source file and create documentation. I will cover that part in one of my later lessons. This example shows two different types of comments. This is the C++ style comment and this is the C style comment. Of course, these are not very useful comments. Basic data types. In Java, they are called primitive data types. You work every day with many kinds of data, including text and numbers. Where you store information on your computer depends on what kind of information it is. If it is text, you probably store it in a Word document. If it is numerical values or mathematical formulas, you probably store it in a Microsoft Excel workbook or Microsoft Access database. And if it is graphics or presentation, you most likely store it in a PowerPoint presentation. By storing information in a file of an office application, you are telling the recipient of that file what type of data it contains. Java, like most other programming languages, uses a variable or constant to represent and temporarily store data that you use in your program. A variable on one hand represents data type that changes that changes. Its value varies within a program. A constant on the other hand represents data that stays the same throughout your program. When you assign a value to a variable or a constant, it's of specific type. In Java, you explicitly categorize your data, your information type. For example, if you are working with text, the equivalent Java type category is the string or a char type. Char is shown here. If you are working with a whole number, you have four different types. You can either pick byte, short, int, or long, depending on the length of the information that you want to store in there. For floating point types, you have float and double. In general, whenever you want to store a whole number, use an int type, the 32-bit int type. Whenever you want to store a floating point type, use a double type. And then you also have a boolean for a true-false type situation and a char for a single character. Why do we have so many different data types? We need different data types to write efficient programs. For example, integer arithmetic is faster than floating point type. Also, the memory required by one of these types may be less than the other. So let's talk about the naming rules. The naming rules for variables. The variables must begin with a letter, underscore, or a dollar sign and can contain any periods or mathematical operators and must not be the name of Java keyword. 
declaring variables. Data that you want to store in a program is often of a specific type. For example, the whole number 12 is an int type and the text hello there is a string data type. When you assign data to a variable, you will want to tell Java what type of data you have. To formally indicate this, you need to use a declaration statement. Declaration statements for variables usually start with the type, followed by the variable name and optionally its initial value. Here are a couple of examples. On the first line here, I am declaring three variables, x, y, z, they are all of the type int or 32-bit integer type. On the second line, I am declaring the variable a and I am saying it is of the type int. While declaring, I am also giving it an initial value. The third one is a double type and I am assigning it a value of 45.3. The fourth one is a string type which contains a string which I will use for labeling my answer. Here is uh, the complete list of Java keywords. While you declare variables, make sure that your variable names cannot be one of these keywords. We already came across some of these keywords earlier like static, public, uh, class, those are all keywords. And these words, these keywords are reserved and cannot be used as variable names in your Java program. The next one is a list of arithmetic operators. So, and there is no surprise here. If you are familiar with any other programming language or Excel, the list of operators basically is the same with some minor modifications. Here is the addition operator, the subtraction, multiplication, and division. Here is the modulus operator which will give you the remainder of an integer division. Now these two operators increment and decrement plus plus or minus minus uh, these are tricky and uh, this might be familiar to those of you who might know C++ programming otherwise I would recommend avoiding them until you completely understand them. So here are some assignment statement here I am taking the value of the variable c, adding 1 to it and then I am assigning the result to a. Here is the result of the multiplication being assigned. Here is the result of a division being assigned to da. So these are again pretty straightforward and uh, look very similar to other programming languages that you may already know. Here is an example, a complete example uh, that shows how you can make an assignment. So for example, I have declared a variable gallons here and liters, both of them are of the type double. The gallon, the gallons contains a value of 10 and then I want to convert it to liters. So I multiply that by 3.7854 which is the conversion factor and if you take this program and run it, it will tell you the result in liters. It will say that uh, you have these many gallons which is equivalent to these many liters. Here we have the relational operators. So if you want to compare two things, for example compare two numbers, whether one is greater than the other, one is less than the other, are they exactly equal or not equal, you have all of these operators available. On the next page I have a couple of examples and uh, I suggest that you take this program and try running it. For example here x is 10 and y is 5 so if I ask is x greater than y the answer is going to be true. Is x less than y that is going to be false. Is x not equals y that is going to be true and you may want to try this program and predict what the output would be when you try some of these other statements. Here we have logical operators these are like essentially AND and OR. So this is the AND operator, this is the OR operator. As you can tell that there are also other operators 
but I am going to be focusing mostly on the AND and the OR operators. In this example, I have x equals 10, y equals 5, a is 3 and b is 4. So what I am asking is, is x greater than y and a greater than b? Well, the answer there is false and it says how you code or how you program the AND operator. How about if you want to ask the question, is x greater than y or a greater than b? Then this is how you would write it and the answer here is true because at least one of these statements is true. Okay, so we are done with uh, variables, data types, operators and assignments. The next one is how to write the if statements and select case statements for making decisions.